feet continues to burn right now, impacting schools and people who live and work in the area. Crews say they're working diligently to try and get it fully extinguished. WDSU reporter Ariel Brumfield is live in Lafitte with what we've learned today. Ariel. Well, you guys, as crews continue to work to knock out this fire, the situation will be fluid for students as well as for those who live and work in this area. So officials say that you should just be flexible and avoid the area if you can. Sitting bumper to bumper for two hours. The biggest thing I've noticed is the traffic leaving out in the morning. Melanie Lynch says the poor visibility and slow movement on the roads due to the smoke is now affecting her job. It's just a lot of congestion and a lot going on right now. Lynch lives in Lafitte and works in Harvey. She and her husband Kyle own M and K, the car doctors, an automotive company. But she says the fire activity leaving Lafitte made them late. The reality for so many as the Fleming Plantation continues to burn for week two. We are now saying that the fire is 52% contained and we had 147 acres. Fire officials say they're now trying to tackle hot spots and the underbrush that continues to smolder. If you could stay away from this area as much as you can, because anything that people do, it may hamper the efforts to get this thing contained. Cones and poor visibility signage lines the street of John Lafitte Boulevard in addition to law enforcement helping to guide drivers during their commutes. More patrols, so we passed today and there were cops and I think they were escorting people, but mainly my biggest concern is with the kids. Jefferson Parish School Board leaders say the situation for students and staff is fluid, but safety is the top priority. Fisher Middle and High School as well as Leo Kerner Elementary had delayed starts so that families could avoid the poor visibility. This statement from Jefferson Parish states that students were excused if they were tardy as a result of the weather conditions. And Robertson told me early today they're still working towards containment, but he says they hope to start extinguishing that fire very soon. Reporting here in Lafitte, I'm Ariel Brumfield, WDSC News. Up